Hey's up guys, welcome to Fuck All The Sounds Are On In Just A Second. There we go. Silence at last. Yeah. Hey's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about something that you guys have been asking a lot about. And when you ask about stuff, I make videos about it. Oh, that's how it works. So today I'm going to talk about my tattoo aftercare and like the healing process and stuff like that. So what I do when I get a tattoo is that I wash it and clean it with non-perfumed soap once or twice per day, usually twice, but sometimes once. Bad girl. Um, <laughs> and uh, I always moisturize it and the first few tattoos, or well, basically all my tattoos, uh, I've used a cream called Bepantian. I don't know, I guess people have it in other countries as well, it looks like this, and, uh, and it works perfectly. I love that, it's amazing, and I just love it. But recently I haven't been bothered purchasing it, so I've just used one that my boyfriend uses, and I don't like it at all. But I'm too lazy to buy the Bepantian. And the one that I don't like is this, it's Hello Son, and I mean it works, I guess, and it's... It does the job, it's just I don't like the formula of it and I don't like what it does to my tattoos. And the reason I don't like it is because one, it takes forever to sink into the skin. And I mean, it might be good because it has to be really moisturizing for the tattoo. But I just don't like how long it takes. And when you like moisturize, if you don't wash your hands afterwards with this, it's on your hands for hours and it's just disgusting and I don't like it. And another thing I don't like with this is that it like goes in under your scabs on the tattoo so it kind of like creates small pockets under the scabs and moisturize under there and it never sinks into the skin so like hours after I've moisturized and I have scabs on my tattoo I can like still feel this in small like gaps under the skin and I just think it's disgusting I don't like this but I mean it heals the tattoos fine it works no, there's nothing wrong with this I just don't like the way it feels on my skin but the Bepantian is perfect never experienced any of that with the Bepantian so that's why I like it more um, and I also something that I use mostly after the tattoo is healed but you can of course use it while it's healing as well and that is coconut oil and coconut oil it can be used for anything basically this is virgin ecological coconut oil whatever um, and I use it on my tattoos when they're like all my tattoos I have now because it keeps them fresh and pretty um, Yeah, that's basically all I do to keep them healing um, All my tattoos except this one has healed in a week. This one had some problems. I don't know why um, I didn't I didn't do anything different. The only difference was that I used this the whole time all my other tattoos I've used Bepantian um, but on my stomach I also used this the whole time and that healed in a week so I don't know maybe it was the colors I reacted to because it was a new artist or something I don't know but it's healed now it's perfect nothing like nothing went wrong with it the colors are there the lines are there so it was just a pain in the ass because it took like two three weeks for it to heal um but now it's fine as for being in the sun and sunscreen and stuff uh, I don't put sunscreen on my tattoos if I'm just like going to be out in the sun. Like if I go into town and the sun is shining, I don't put sunscreen on my tattoos. Or like if I'm just outside and the sun happens to be shining, no. But if I go to like be in the sun, like tan or something, of course I put sunscreen on my tattoos because I don't want them to fade as quickly. Um, usually like SPF 30 or something. Um, and yeah, you should always do that if you want to protect them. And if you want to be like super hardcore, extreme, you can put sunscreen on them every single day because you might get sun on them. You never know. <laughs> but I'm not that super extreme with them. So yeah, my tattoos have faded with time. But most of my tattoos are, none of them are more than like four years old, really? No, I'm 22 soon. 19, 20. Three years. So my oldest tattoos are three years old and that's not a lot. So of course they haven't faded that much. The one that's faded the most is this one because it is a black and gray and it was black when I got it but now it's gray. So yeah, that's the only thing but of course it's going to fade. But you can always get them touched up if you want to and stuff like that so it's not a big deal. So that's all I have to share with you guys. If you have any questions about the healing, ask your tattoo artist. Don't ask people online. 
because sure people might know but it's better to just listen to your artist ask them how to take care of it if you're having complications ask your artist etc 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 but this is how i do it and it's worked for me switch word of the day is laka what wrong order switch word of the day is heal uh, like a uh, tattoo needs to heal and switch word for heal is laka Hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check my links below. Keep up to date on everything you do. Until next time, have a super duper good one and I will see you.